Hello everyone! I gladly welcome you all to this video. My name is James Deliava, and my part for today's discussion is to share knowledge and information about our topic, Kohlberg's Theory of Moral Development. To start with, let me share to you some facts about the main proponent of this theory. His name is Lawrence Kohlberg. Lawrence Kohlberg was a professor at Harvard University. He was well known for his theory of moral development where he believed that people progress in their moral reasoning through a series of stages. He believed that there are six identifiable stages that are generally classified into three levels, and these are pre-conventional level, conventional level, and the post-conventional level. The first level is the pre-conventional level. At this level, a child's sense of morality is externally controlled. Children accept and believe the rules being imposed by authority figures such as parents and teachers. Under pre-conventional level, we have the stage 1 and the stage 2. The stage 1 is also known as the obedience and punishment orientation, which happens from 2 to 4 years old. At this stage, people behave according to the socially acceptable norms because they are told to do so by some authority figures such as a teacher or a parent. In simpler terms, at this stage, we obey authority figures in order to avoid punishment. The next stage is the stage 2, which is also known as the individualism and exchange orientation. It happens from 4 to 7 years old. At this stage, we trade or we cooperate with others in order to get what we want or what we need. So for example, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. At this stage, we can see a two-way benefit for both parties. After the pre-conventional level, follows the conventional level. At this level, people internalize the moral standards that they have learned from their role models and from the society. It is marked by the acceptance of social rules regarding what is good and what is moral. Under conventional level, we have stage 3 and stage 4. The stage 3 is also known as the good boy or good girl orientation. It happens from 7 to 10 years old. At this stage, we are good by doing what is approved by others. The approval can come from individuals or the expectations of our peers, groups, or society. After stage 3 follows the stage 4, which is also known as the law and order orientation. It happens from 10 to 12 years old. At this stage, we are good by following the laws and obeying the authorities. We do our duties, respect the authorities, and avoid challenging the social order. After the conventional level, follows the third and the last level, which is the post-conventional level. At this level, we strive to live up to the higher laws of morality and ethics even when they conflict with the law, authority, and social order. According to Kohlberg, it is the level that the majority of adults fail to reach. Under the post-conventional level are the two last stages, the stage 5 and the stage 6. The stage 5 is also known as the social contract orientation, which happens during the teenage years. At this stage, we look beyond the laws and decisions being imposed by authority members to the rights and principles that our society is based on. So for example, we believe that all men are created equal, even if it is being contradicted by a particular set of laws and customs in our society. Moreover, this stage involves the understanding of social mutuality and the genuine interest in the welfare of others. After stage 5, follows the last stage, stage 6, 
which is also known as the principal conscience orientation. It happens during adulthood. At this stage, we strive to live according to our own conscience and the universal principles of justice and human dignity. Generally, the chosen principles are abstract rather than concrete and focuses on the ideas such as equality, dignity, and respect. Note that Colbert believed that individuals could only progress one stage at a time. This only means that we cannot jump between stages. Always remember that Colbert believed, as did Piaget, that the most moral development occurs and can only be achieved through social interaction. And that's the end of our discussion for Colbert's theory of moral development. Thank you for watching. I hope that you have learned something valuable that you can apply in your life. See you in my next video. Bye!